in this video i'm going to talk about five things that i wish i knew when i was 18 because uh, these things are so perspective changing and they give you uh, a kind of light which helps you navigate through life and you know adulthood and all that so as student we have always experienced a lot of comparison a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress in some way or the other because you know people are comparing you with your peers and there's just a lot of comparison so you just have this pressure uh, from your family there's pressure from the society to just score good marks and be something and you know all that shit and you know which increases the pressure on us and, and makes us anxious and this anxiety then becomes the reason why we take a lot of bad decisions in our life now in this video i'm going to share with you guys five lessons that i wish i knew when i was 18. hey friends what's going on hi this is Saad, and welcome to my youtube channel let's start the video Lesson number one, the world does not care about your marks. Society tells us, even our parents tell us, like you have to score this much marks to move ahead in life, to get into better places and all that. The, your marks plays an important role, but it is it only plays an important role in the next step, like to move forward, like in the next step. But it doesn't matter at all when you move ahead. It doesn't really play a very big part in your journey or in your life or in finding jobs. You know, most important things that people look at are like, what are your soft skills and what are the qualities that you have and how well equipped are you with skills so that you can add some level of value in a company and all that. Nobody even cares about your marks. So, you know, believing that your marks is everything and if you don't have good marks then the world has ended and you have no scope in the future at all is a complete scarcity mentality, I would say, because it's complete bullshit. Lesson number two is skills are the real king. Now in the real world, as I said in the last point, which is related to this point, that no one gives a damn about what your marks are and you know how much you scored in your class 10 board exam, or how much you scored in your class 12 board exam. The only thing people and every company care about is how much value are you able to bring on the table for that company. And that is what is important because your skills are going to make money and your skills are going to help the company to be more productive and to get things done and get, keep things moving so no matter how much marks you have if you're not having the right skills for the job you have opted for then you definitely are going to not get the job no matter how much you have scored in the exam and, if, and even if you have less marks in the exam but you have the right skills which is required in the market for the kind of job you are looking for then no one gives a damn about what marks you have code in your class 10 or 12 or in your college level or anything everyone wants to hire people which are you know valuable to the company and which can add value in the company and help the company be more productive increase the sales or make the operations better or you know whatever your job profile is so one thing which i think every 18 year old kid should really focus on at this age is to build skills is to learn skills and you know search out for what are the top you know most uh, valuable skills in the world current you have to look for it and just start to learn these skills i mean in this age of internet i think no one can complain that they cannot learn it because they cannot afford it because you don't have to pay for your course you just have to pay for your data bank which you have to get to watch that course on youtube so the internet is full of information just learn the skills which you find is interesting and can help you get the job you want lesson number three explore now you know when we are young and our relatives our family members always keep telling us and asking us hey what are your plans and what are you going to do in the future but you know how can someone so young who hasn't seen the world plan for himself or herself decide what's best for him and what work is he going to do for the rest of his life and that is completely bs after you graduate you just opt for a job which you think at that point of time it is good for you and then you work on that thing for for some time and if you feel like that is the kind of thing that you 
would like to pursue for the rest of your life then go for that thing and if you think that maybe that's not something you thought it is going to be and you know there's a gap in the expectation and reality then you can just switch jobs it's better to work in a job that you really enjoy because you invest eight to nine hours every single day in that job like for five to six days in a week so it's very important that you fall in love with this work and you know you enjoy your work and it is something that you really like doing right so explore don't think that you have to decide it at age 18 that you know what career you're going to choose and which path you're going to walk for the rest of your life it doesn't work this way just do whatever you feel like doing do a little bit of internet research consult to some career counselors if you think that you are a little confused and you want a bigger better perspective and clarity on things and once you have a clear picture you might just move in that direction Lesson number four is work on yourself. You know, when we are young, all we want to do is to party, play football with our friends and do the PlayStation and I don't know. But, you know, we just want to play and have fun and, you know, live our life in the fullest. Like, like but, and that's a good thing to do. But, you know, when we are young, we have a lot of spare time. And, you know, if you can spend one hour or one and a half hour or even 30 minutes in learning something new, be it a new language, be it a new skill or be it just you know any damn thing that you just like doing would really bring value to your life and you know make you closer to your goal and help you be a person you want to be in your future it would really make you feel good about your life and would really increase your contentment and your fulfillment in your life so i would suggest to anyone who is watching this video or to anyone who is 18 years old to you know spend one hour or 30 minutes every day in learning something new and something which you think can help you be a better version of yourself and add value to your life lesson number five is know why what and how now that's again something which no one cares about when we are 18 right when i was 18 i remember i just walked the way which i thought had least resistance and which was easy and something and i did not really care about why am i doing something and what would be the consequence of doing this thing exactly and you know how am i going to do this in a particular way and what's the best way of doing this thing i would not care about all these things or just do the things that i felt like doing until unless it is not causing any harm to anybody <laughs> but simon sinek who is the author of the book start with why says that whenever you are trying to do something whether it's taking a life decision or whether it's taking small decisions or your career or any damn thing Always start with why. Always ask yourself, why am I doing this thing? Why am I interested in this thing? And then after asking why, ask how am I going to do this thing? Then ask yourself, what are you going to do exactly? And just make a clear picture and make it clear to yourself, what are you going to do exactly? And these are the things which give you clarity in whatever you're doing. Even if you're learning something or doing a course about something, or ask yourself, why do you want to learn this thing? What are the ways of learning this thing? And how are you going to learn it? I mean, these things are very important questions, which I think no one asks us and no one cares about, but, but are really game changers. Now, if you've come this far in the video, I have a bonus tip for you. I always used to wonder whether people watch my videos, if I make long videos, and if people watch my video till the end or something. But if you watched this video till now, then thank you for watching this video. And I have a bonus tip for you, which is no one in this world has the life figured out. Your parents don't have their life figured out, your uncle, auntie, your relatives, the society who ask you a lot of questions about how you're doing in your studies and all that, don't have their life figured out, your grandparents don't have their life figured out, no one in the world have their life figured out. And it's okay to have your life not figured out because you cannot figure out your life entirely at this point of time when you are just 18 or no matter what age you are. Because if you don't know what is life going to throw at you and you have to react to whatever life throws at you and whatever situations come in your life. So you cannot have your life figured out. You can always have a little bit of idea of what are things going to be like and how are you going to do things. But, you know, you're never going to have your life figured out. You know, some of the most successful people in the world also don't have their life figured out. Not even these guys. They don't have their life figured out. It's just that they are following the gut feeling and doing what they think is wide according to them based on rational and logical thinking definitely but that's the truth thank you for watching this video guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because i make more such videos and um, you know like the video if you haven't liked it because when you like the video the youtube algorithm blesses the video and it puts the video in front of other people's face so you know 
it's good for me. See you in my next week's video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day. Goodbye.